All right, so here's the RBC manifold I'm going to be putting back on the car. Um, this was pretty, pretty ugly because I traded my uh, ported one back uh, four years ago for this stock one from a friend. And this had 130,000 miles on it, and the surface was all corroded and everything. It looked more so like the back. Even though the back of this doesn't look bad at all, uh, the front looked uh, less than desirable. So what I did was I just cleaned it up really good, and then I used Rust-Oleum uh, high temp engine paint and it's actually an aluminum color paint and I think it came out really nice this this manifold like has hundred and thirty thousand miles on it and I just hit it with four coats of this paint and it cleaned up real nice it looks like a new piece I painted the fittings just to prevent from corrosion painted the exposed parts of the fitting black as well as the nuts here that hold the manifold uh, cover on the one thing I did do is I want to run the same tune I did in 2014, so it was about 229 wheel horsepower. So one thing you have to do is, if you're doing a J35 throttle body, is you want to port match the inlet. And I just got done doing that the other day. And as you can see, it just smoothed out the bottom, and I didn't even have to take much material off the top. I'll show you here with the throttle body made it to it, but the majority of the material needed to be you know, removed from the bottom. So I brought this opening up just to match the J35 perfectly. It's very close from the factory. The, um, the factory J35 is 64 and a half millimeters on the outlet side, and the inlet to this is like between 63 and 64-ish millimeters. So I took about a millimeter of material off the bottom, uh, and you can see when you make the J35 throttle body to this, you can see through the throttle body what you need to shave out. So what I did was I put the throttle body on, I took a picker tool, stuck it through the throttle body and just scratched the surface around this edge of what was exposed. And then I had a scribe mark that I used my pneumatic tool and I ground out to uh, match the radius perfectly. So when you get done, you want the, uh, the exit side of the J35 to match your inlet here perfectly. So no airflow is disrupted. And it didn't take too much work, just make sure you get your metal shavings all out of the uh, manifold when you're done. Because you don't want any uh, shavings going into your engine when it's running. So an easier way to port match this is to take your P1R gasket. This is P167 and it looks like this. So you take that, you put it over your stud. The ID of this is 66 millimeters. So if you port it to this, you'll be a little bit over the J35, which isn't gonna hurt you at all. So you just take it, and you slide it over the studs. It's gonna have a w little wiggle room, but if you just clear all the material around it, even when you wiggle it around, you're gonna be fine. So this is a great uh, gasket to port match with. Uh, it's a great template. And as you can see, it's like a half millimeter larger, maybe one and a half millimeters larger than the whole ID of the throttle body. So you can use this. This The ID of this is uh, 66 millimeters and this is 64.5. So if you, if you put this on your studs over here, and you use that to port match, that's how you get a perfect transition. Just use the gasket, no need to manipulate the throttle body in any way.